Hello and welcome to Code Weaver Plays Games. So, I'm going to be doing some Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Mass Effect 1 in particular, because as anybody who's been following my streams knows, I've never played Mass Effect 1, despite having played all of the others in this series, including 4, uh, all of which I loved. Um, 4, obviously, being in a completely sort of separate storyline, but anyway, <clears throat> so... Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just leap right on into this. No sense, uh, no sense waiting around. Oh, except I'm going to have to make sure that the stream is pointed at the right screen. So let's see if that works. Waiting patiently. As there is a delay in the streams. There we go. All right, perfect. So one quick additional audio check just to make sure everything sounds... Tickety boo! It does does sound pretty good. Uh, let's quickly do an audio check with one of the characters. Sure, it'll be fine. We can talk to. Oh yes, yeah, so we can talk to Presley. So hang on, quick audio check. All right, so. Yes, Commander. Uh, okay, so let's do a quick. Uh, Carry on, here. Presley. Yes, ma'am. That's not bad, but I think... Let's try that again. Yes, Commander? Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, all right. All right. Audio level's pretty good. I'm comfortable. And I just want to get on with it. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Let's, um... What were we doing? We were going to try to knock out more of these side quests uh, to generate uh, some income, to generate some additional weaponry, and so on and so forth. So let's take a pot shot at a few more of these. As you can see, I've been slowly knocking them out. Now I'm having a few troubles with some of these lower ones here. So let's just start, start at the complete other end, just for giggles. So... Logs mentioned something about the Matano system in the Maroon Sea Cluster. That would be a good place to start your investigation. Okay. Now, it's. I think it might be... I wonder if it's thinking I've already gone there but not found anything. Oh, well, let's let's go there anyway. Matano system in the emergency cluster. Emergency cluster Matano. All right. If we knock out a bunch of these, I'll then eventually get onto the storyline. Let's see. Backing out. Don't remember where that cluster is, so we gotta take a quick look around. Oh, there it is. All right. So we'll start here, and we'll take a look around, and then we'll uh, quickly visit the other systems on our way out. Old. All right, so onward, onward. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoko. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Surfers. Ooh. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Interesting. Okay, well, of course, we know from future games who Cerberus is, but this game, I'm discovering them for the first time. So, here we go. Walking through the planets. Mostly to find out if there's any artifacts and things to recover. So, Inti is a terrestrial planet with an atmosphere composed of ammonium and helium. Its surface is mainly composed of sodium oxide with deposits of magnesium. Its density is rather low, leaving the planet tidelocked to Matan. 
MD is an unremarkable world, drawing little more than a cursory scan for service pirate uh, anchorages when Alliance patrols enter the system. Alright. Nothing of interest there. Moving a layer out. Chaska. Ooh, we might be landing here. Chaska is a large but low-density world, fundamentally similar to its inner neighbor, Inti. Like Inti, Chaska is tidally locked to Matano. The same side always faces the sun, resulting in a scorching day side and a frozen night side. In the temperate areas around the Terminator, uh, temperatures average around 30 degrees Celsius. Combined with a nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere, this slender band of habitable terrain shows limited colonization by humans. Chaska's ring is unique. It appears to be, for lack of a better term, a massive piece of alien installation art. The rings are made of small pieces of synthetic material and are almost invisible from space. From the ground, they catch and scatter the light of Atana in picturesque ways. It is not known who created the ring or when. Chaska's, uh, Chaska is very early development, with little more than few pioneer teams scattered across the surface. Information is being collated about native hazards and ecology while a massive colonist recruiting drive is gearing up back on Earth. And as you can probably hear, I have some local color going on, some, you know, sirens and stuff, so nothing I can do about that. Anyway, let's land. Let's find out what's going on here. Um, I am going to take my favorite two. I'm going to be taking these guys a lot. I'll take the others on the occasional mission just to round out their skill sets, but, uh, I have to admit, I, I like these two the most. Um, Exenus God, Skep Squad. There we go. Yep, do it. Let's do this thing. Ooh, went on grass. That's new. All right, well, let's get some bearings. All right, so we've landed... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we've landed here. Uh, I'm going to take the long way around, up around this edge, and approach this from this side just to get some good coverage. So let's, uh, let's head in that direction. As you know, we're collecting resources and finding the occasional bit of lore and story element just by poking our noses around. So far, nothing terribly interesting, but that's alright. It's kind of a picturesque drive. I don't mind having a, a relaxed day trip. You know what I mean? Sometimes... Sometimes that's all you need. Okay, so we've reached a corner here. I haven't spotted anything on the old radar. Let's uh, see if we can cut across to about... Here is the crow flies, which should be uh, pretty close to the border on that end. Tough little uh, lips there to get over, but uh, we're getting some good practice in at uh, navigating them. Good. I did discover in my last playthrough, actually, that you can turn this thing turtle, which is kind of funny. The reason why that's kind of... Oh, look at that. we got something over here. The reason why that's at least slightly remarkable um, Okay, where is the resource? This is the physics on this is so goofy it tries to write itself at the drop of a hat. But uh, alright, so where Oh, it's like up on that lip somewhere. Okay. Uh should be, in fact, right on top of it. Alright, can we get out here? That's good. No, 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 stop it. Heading to position. Not going to be able to get up there.
Oh, look, there it is. There is, in fact, some... Uh... Yeah, we'll totally survey that. Perfect. Got some rare minerals. Time to hop back in the buggy. All right, so... Hang on. Directly... So where are we? So actually somewhere in here is where that other deposit is. Let's take a quick little detour and go and grab that. Probably right down in there, so let's hop out while we're on the level ground. There it is. Palladium deposit, let's go grab that. So resources are never a bad thing. What the? No, I'm not taking anybody out, I'm just grabbing minerals. Alright. Area secured. That's right, area is in fact secured. All right, so going back to our map. Now we did come away south, but we're gonna cut. Let's see if we can do this without falling off the cliff. We're going to cut over this direction to get back on track. Haha, <laughs> like a boss. Not a very good boss, I'm just saying. All right, so. That's, I'm not getting on that, okay. I wonder if I can sneak around this way without getting... That's way further over to the side than I really wanted to be. Sort of just slightly constrained by the topology of the mountain range here. Oh. I'm making life just a little more difficult than it needs to be, but sometimes that's the way I roll. Come on. Come on, come on. Up and over. <clears throat> There we go, that's a little bit less ridiculous. Alrighty, we are now back on the road here. Yes, we're going to fail. And we are, in fact, well into the corner, so rather than try to cut upward, we're going to try to cut downward, uh, actually pretty much right there, and we will pick up the story threads that are therein. Nice drive across the plateau. I'll take it. I 
Hello. Okay, this looks like it's going to be a thing. By a thing, I mean maybe slightly scary. So let's find out if I'm just approaching another den of bad guys. Looks deserted. I've got a bad feeling about this. You know, say. So which one did I end up approaching? All right, so I'm approaching that one. Well, so the thing is, is nobody actually came out and accosted me. So I'm guessing all the chaos is about to happen in here. Right. Chaos it is. Everybody in for a little chaos? I know I am. All right. Do-do-do-do. Let's try to get back into the swing of using my sniper rifle. Oh, goodness, it's husks. need to like seriously oh hello seriously max out my sniper skill so that I can take these guys out in a couple of shots at least. I mean I suppose I can if I properly use my powers you know like I'm supposed to be doing. glitches there still recharging of course I could be making better use of the terrain too by you know using the explosive goo canisters and the like there everywhere if I could hit everybody in the head which would be you know, fantastic ooh I do have better, uh, better reload on this. That's nice. That that actually makes a little bit of difference. I still prefer to do the one-shot kills to the head and just get better at that, but, you know. This isn't half bad. That's a bold claim, Tally. I mean, I'll take it, don't get me wrong. Okay, so that goes up. So this layout is very similar to a lot of the other bases. That's not a bad thing. Let's go to the aid station, grab some supplies, check around on the lower floor here before we head up. I think the last place I was in that had this particular layout had a bunch of bots in it. Yeah, take everything. We're going to need all that good stuff. Okay, that's just door control. That's fine. Poke around a little bit to see if I missed anything. I don't think I did, though. Save now. Save often. Save again. Hmm. Curious. Shiny, take all of that, please. And all of that. Let's do the manual override thing. Damn it. There we go. Take all that. Oh, an easy decryption over here. Actually, getting better at uh, using that sidestepping hacking thing. All right, well, this is all well and good, but I guess that's it. I mean, it wasn't a very big structure from the outside, to be fair.
But I didn't find anything story-wise or lore-related, so... This looks a lot like the the, uh, the external layout husks. Oh, I see. That's nice. The entire colony must have been transformed. Yeah, we're definitely seeing more of this uh, husk activity as the game rolls on, which is not very surprising when you know some of the future of this series. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we need full sniper shot. <sighs> you activate that, because why not? And Garrus, you're going to go into... myself out of trouble for a moment. Hey, I'm going to hold. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this moment I've just saved. I'm going to take this moment to go and grab myself a, another liquidy beverage or two because I suddenly realized I do not have liquid and I can only use this time to let the character seal up a little bit. Only going into the next room. Do not worry about the sudden absence of your host. Your host is nearly pouring Seattle's best water. By which I mean tap water. By which I mean I can do that. Also, a little bit of water for the hydration. A little bit of Coke Zero for the. Actually, no, this isn't Coke Zero. This is a Jones a Diet Cola. Jones does a good cola. <clears throat> so, I'll take it. Yep, not bad. All right, so I'm good on the liquid front, and I'm all healed up. Quick resave. Let's get on with this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's go poking our noses around since everybody obviously rushed out to greet me so warmly. Um, 
not a lot of nothing going on here. Okay, very much like some of the other stations we've encountered. Yep, big open room in here, but let's rush into the room of murder death because I'm sure I'm going to be accosted by aliens or there's going to be a big gas thing or hmm, nothing. How interesting. Oh, way to subvert my expectations of imminent doom. All right. Oh, this has a little bit more in it. Override succeeded. Let's get all this stuff because it could conceivably be useful. this one. Nope. Fortunately, for better or for worse, there's no actual cost of failure as far as I can tell. Which actually to me is not a good game mechanic. If there's no risk, there's no real sense of reward. There we go. It's a minor quibble in this game because I'm enjoying it for the game just as story anyway. Um, a colonial pioneer team rarely consists more of a few dozen specialists. It's clear that none of them have survived. The Cerebrus group has a lot to answer for here. Okay. Um, well, there's a technician's kit, so we're going to take all of that. And we're going to take all of that, too. So we got lots of goodies. Uh... No way to get behind in there, so I'm going to guess that none of that matters. And I guess that's it. All right, no, that's that's totally fine. Cover me. Oh, look, med kit. Glad I went around the other way. Given how much I run around places, I really should look into upgrading my fatigue levels, but I think it'll happen pretty automatically as I run out of uh, interesting things to upgrade. Although, you know what? Um, the last game, I got a, a thing called Specialist or whatever. Like, I, I took a uh, took ranks in Specialization, or I specialize in being some sort of soldier, but I don't know how to actually affect any of that via my squad. I don't know if I can. Um... Oh well, in any case, I've got two points to spend, so let's just, uh, you know what, let's let's cap out our first aid. And that'll be good for, for me. And for Garrus, there's a couple of points. So let's tap out in Assault Training. And we'll put another point in Electronics. And a couple of points in Electronics. And for Tally... Uh, yeah, basic armor. Let's get that, uh, let's get that upgraded. And then after that, I think possibly damping. Yeah. Anyway, where were we? So let's head for there. Actually, let's go a little bit more south than directly there, just to cover a little bit of the, the grounds. Oh, and look, there is something up there, so I'm glad I did that. So let's go take a look. Uh, I'm guessing it's just up in, in this little nook up here. Whatever it is. Here it is. Come on. Yeah, the manual bypass, please. Oh, this is a complicated one. <laughs> Just succeeded, but I'll take it. All right. No, that's, that's totally cool. All right. 
on our way. Glad I took that minor diversion. Now we'll just nip up to the actual target. Save now, save often, and there we go. should do is hotkey my sniper rifle for general use but then be able to switch over to a fast fast pistol or something when I uh, when I uh, over accidentally overheat I'm, I'm not being very smart about that if I'm honest. little investigation see if we can spot anything like this crate from which I'll grab a phoenix that's fine get up to me please thank you some things here that may be useful. I'm looking for nines and tens. That's kind of where I'd like to be at this point, but because I'm not quite there yet. in terms of equipment and weaponry and that's all there is here so that's all that uh, arguably I really came for is just to clear up uh, a minor mission and grab some loot all right Shep let's get out of here oh hello Next. Alrighty. I have a friend of mine saying, hang on for a second. I have a friend of mine saying in Discord, I'm supposed to be on vacation. Well, how, why do I keep checking email? I suck at this. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. And that's me all over as well. All right, so uh, let's. Uh, did did we get this one? I'm not sure. So we got that one, that one, that one, but I don't think we actually got that one. So let's uh, let's. Oh, we'll find out, won't we? Do I have that bad a memory? I mean, the answer to that could very easily be yes. Oh, that's just that. Okay, yes. I do have that bad of memory, but I didn't remember that it was marked with the same marker. That's alright. Alright. So, we're gonna go straight across to here, and then we'll make a quick little pass through the middle here, just in case. Uh, it's not gonna take long, but, you know, might as well be somewhat thorough. Uh, 
over on the other side of that mountain. Okay, let's see if we can be at least a little smarter about this and just go around. Or not. Interesting. That is going to be a pain in the neck. And rather than fight it forever, let's just, um... Go up and over the spine. Hello! Okay. Oh, hello. All right. Darn it. There we go. Found the way in. All right. Take all of that. Great and all, I was kind of hoping for a little bit of lore in here, but there is a bloody great ziggurat here for no obvious reason. I mean, maybe this is what they were researching, but... Does not appear to be a way inside. Okay. I don't know what this means, but. Oh, hello. More crates. Oh, come on. Got in. Great. Take everything. Prothean data disk recovered. There are several small Prothean artifacts in the crate, including an intact Prothean data disk. It appears to be in excellent condition. Ooh. All right. Um, so that's where we started. So I'm going to cut across up here just as sort of a backup safety measure because some of that area I didn't quite cover. But I'm going to try to make it relatively quick, because I do want to get on to more missions. Ooh, that's... that's a pit I don't really want to go down, if I'm honest. I could probably have worked my way out of there, but that just looked painful. Yeah, okay, the, the bounce aroundiness of this vehicle I may have ended up in that pit anyway. Uh, the bounce aroundiness of this vehicle is kind of offending my KSP sensibilities, I must say. Just absolutely bananas. is not taking me where I want to go. Well, so much for this being quick.
so there's one of the places that we visited, and that's fun. More just to see if there's anything else in this basin, which I didn't really cover. But I think we're good. I think we are good. We're good. We're calling it. All right, so that's not what I want to do. I want to go to the map, say return to Normandy. Yep, let's do it. Let's get on to the next one. Zooming out. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so we're gonna quickly visit some of these other planets, just to make sure there's nothing else there. A craggy world of igneous and basaltic mountains. Apo is racked by constant geologic activity. While volcanic hotspots are rare, continental plates are constantly piling up new mountains, subducting old ones, or causing slips along terraform or transform faults. Apo has a dense atmosphere composed of nitrogen and carbon monoxide. Due to the constant earthquakes and landslide activity, surface exploration is not advised. The rubble-covered wrecks of half a dozen expeditionary ships stand in mute testament to the planet's instability. That's okay. We're going to back out of there, pop out to the next one. Elop is a hydrogen helium gas giant with an unusual ruby color caused by contaminants in the atmosphere. The world has over 120 moons, one of the highest totals of all known systems. Once full development of Chaska Colony begins, a helium-3 refining infrastructure will be developed in the Ilapa system, concentrated on a large ice moon of Conoraya. Okay. More asteroid belt, followed by Supe. Ooh, we can survey this one. Supe is the composition of an ice dwarf planet, but is unusually large for such a body. It has trace atmosphere of krypton and xenon. The frozen surface is dotted with deposits, composed of potassium and light metals brought to the surface by cryovolcanic processes. Supe's icy surface was often used as a source of potable water by passing merchant vessels. Since the Alliance claimed the inner system world of Chaska, satellites placed in orbit automatically bill any vessel landing on the world for the massive water removed from the surface. Exogeny has had a difficult time keeping these satellites operational. They often meet with accidents caused by impact with jettisoned space debris. Clever. All right, survey. Light metal discovered. You detect a large deposit of magnesium. We are good on the metals front. We're, we're doing really well here. That's fine. So while we're in system, let's just, uh, you know, poke our nose into some of these others. Maybe we'll accidentally find uh, a quest. Maybe we'll just get resources while we're here. Rapid fire, let's do it. Clamarthu has a reducing atmosphere of methane and nitrogen. The surface is hot and mainly composed of sodium with deposits of uranium. In terms of size and orbit, Clamarthu is a virtual twin of Earth, but utterly lacks life. All right, moving out a layer. Looks like we've got an active distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator. What was signal. I just saying? Great. Nodocrux is a verdant world with abundant water, temperate climate, and a thick nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere, and a rich ecosystem. It would seem to be perfect for life. The relatively high percentage of oxygen makes humans feel energized and alive, though it has also allowed insect analogs to grow to frightful sizes. Unfortunately, Nodocrux is a case of almost not quite. Thunderstorms are as common as on Earth, but in Nodocrux's thicker oxygen-rich atmosphere, there are deafening and spark, uh, these are deafening and spark constant wildfires. More damning, however, are the large and ubiquitous tufts of pollen that float in the high-pressure air. In humans and other oxygen-breathing species, these uh, cause severe or lethal allergic reactions. Well, we're landing to find out what the <clears throat> beacon is all about. Ah, uh, just for giggles, let's go to the next two in the list. Do we have? We have tech, we have biotic, and we have combat. We're going to accept that squad go. Yep, that's fine. We will mix it up a little. Or grass, love grass. All right. So, planning on our route. We are here. Let's quickly go here. We're gonna circle around and come up. The here we go. Off we go.
Oh, hello. We've got a number of things over here. What are the red marks? Enemies, but of what nature? Oh no, not enemies. Well, possible enemies, actually. Uh... Curious. Really curious. Can, in fact, we go inside? Maybe not. Maybe this is just a crashed piece of junk. But this is getting interesting because we are um, clearly finding more and more husks. Slightly weird physics reaction, but at least we found a place that we can walk into. Oh no. We don't have anyone with decryption. Guys! Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Um, where are we? We're in that corner. If we're going to get into a lot of things that require uh, decryption, we're going to have to make sure that we have somebody who can do that. So, uh, we're going to just cut this immediately. We're going to return to the Normandy to get a different squad. It's unfortunate, but such is life. Yes, we're, we're still landing. Get, get us back in there, please. All right. Tally, definitely. We'll do Tally and Erdnut. One of the reasons I like having Tally is because of her decryption capabilities. But I do have one other character. I think it's, um, is it Kaiden who has the uh, decryption capability? In any case, I'll find out for my next drop. All right, so we are going, uh, I don't remember where we last landed. Yeah, and then up on this ridge here, right? Yeah. We're not getting locked out of things. We're just not. Interestingly, nothing else of value here. Keep wanting to find more lore and just not finding it. Okay. Well, let's keep heading in. First of all, let's... Oh, good God. There's actually stuff. Oh, where which direction is that? That's uh, off to the uh, west where I am. So it's actually up in here. So, okay, I'll just have to remember that. I do...
Oh, let's, uh, let's come along the outskirts here. Nothing, that's okay. Alright, so now we're going to be heading down this direction where we saw that other. Um, you need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. Yeah, I know. Come on. Yeah, great. Alright, that's fine. I guess we just go back to where we came. Don't like doubling back, it's boring, but... Nobody wants to see me keep trying to scale impossible mountains because I don't want to take uh, all of the 60 seconds that will take me to backtrack a little bit, so... Survey mineral, please. Just managed to get that one, but I'll take it. All right, now we're gonna head just down here somewhere. That one's gonna go out of bounds. That crest. Let's try uh, try going up through there. map are particularly rocky. Come on. Come on. Get up there. There's another pocket of something. Let's go take a look. Can I even get up there? Wow, okay. right on top of that ridge.
come on. Oh, come on, no. No, do not return to Normandy. Thank you very little. I'm getting this vehicle up there if it kills me, which it probably will, but that's not the point. ridiculous. Don't ever do that. Unless you're like me. In which case, just do it all the time. Alright. Uh, let's uh, go and grab that mineral. All of that for a, a small deposit, but that's alright. Alright, so where did we manage to get to? We managed to weasel our way up there uh, to this. Do we really need to go to that corner? Yeah, well, I suppose it can't... I, I suppose I'm about to say, I suppose it can't hurt. It hurt a lot. But, let's, uh... Let's be at least a little bit careful and try to hang out along this ridge. Only descend if we find something interesting. Whoa. Yeah, I don't think there's anything there. That's fine. Um, but that's okay. Uh, and now we're going to sneak straight over to, like, here and, uh, and come up on that target. So that's actually kind of back the way we came, isn't it? Uh, alright. Well, here we go again. Okay, well, no way to avoid that, so we're just going to drop off the edge here and go back down to the valley. So we got some bad guys coming up here. suffering from this. Okay. Saving the game, let's take a look inside.
Several things about this might be not good. Well, like that. Damn, missed with my sniper shot. That sucks. Well, good headshots, though. Take a look around, get caught up in Geo because the wall logic kind of sucks a lot. Do, do. Yeah, right. Not a lot of goodies on this trip that I've been able to spot, but that's okay. Similar layout again, very modular space. Oh, hello! Oh, thank God! See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. You're okay now. I need to know what's going on. Why is this place crawling with Thorian creepers? How do you know about the Thorian? I was on Ferris. I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists. So I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. That's right. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Ferris. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. All right, let's find out some information what about this distress Why didn't signal. Why did we send a clear message asking for help? All we had was that signal from the emergency beacon. This is a closed communications base. Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. We have no direct communication with the outside, only the emergency beacon. It sends a general distress signal to the Exogeny site on Pharos. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. Are there any others? Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. Why did they go berserk? Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the Creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. The Thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the Creepers here. All right, we're done here. I've heard all I need to. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that, but it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? People lost their lives you here, you charge twit. This project. The safety of the staff was your responsibility. They trusted you, and you betrayed that trust. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Keeps you from Normally, doing it again. Jenny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Feral. Keeps you from selling out to Cerberus. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up? It's yours if you let us go. 
<laughs> Not a the chance. Victims here deserve justice. I have to take you in. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open yes, fire. yes, it is. Don't be idiotic. Go, go, go. My reflexes are definitely going into the dust bin. Exigeny's second rate mercs prove no match for a trained Alliance Marine. With the last design screw dead, there's no reason to linger here. Wish I could have taken you in, it would have been less stupid. Myself caught in the geo a little bit there. That's all right. Everything in the other half of the station. Some stuff. That's not bad. the button I haven't intended to hit, but that's all right. Sometimes you just have to take with a locker with extreme prejudice. All right, we're getting we're getting good gear here for sale, if not for uh, personal use. Come on, get off the wall, please. Thank you. All right. Slowly knocking off some of these these missions. <laughs> Alright, where's our vehicle? Is there anywhere else we need to go here? Yes, north and maybe then into the center, but definitely north. Don't think it's likely to be anything south. Well, I suppose it can't hurt to at least take a look, so. Actually, didn't I come from there? I came from there. What the heck am I doing? I didn't see anything. Let's not waste time. Uh, let's go that way. Now I've done something seriously dorky. Falling right off the mountain. Very irritating. Well... Take all of that. Uh, I haven't been up to here yet. That's clearly our next target. Local life forms. That's isn't that kind of new? I guess we just haven't been on many. Sorry for running over one of you guys. Didn't actually see you there. It wasn't even. Mistaken identity, I just didn't see there at all.
Okay. Down in that valley somewhere is another piece of something we want to take a look at. Oh, there it is. That's simple enough. Ancient debris. I can recover an artifact. This escape pod is half buried in material that has washed down from the mountains. Though it has obviously been here for centuries, the computer still has power. Linking in with your hard suit, you recover a bunch of files containing data on the Thracia colony. Okay. That's a good thing. I think we're more or less done here, but we'll cut across to here just for completeness, which again won't take long. That's enough of that. Back to the Normandy. Unsurprisingly, I'm not going to do quite as long a session tonight as I normally would because uh, it's a school night for me, so to speak. Well, a work night. You know what I mean. I've got to do things in the morning. And so, zoom out from there and visit the next planet in orbit. Let's just keep on doing this. The geological properties of Alco have been scanned from orbit. But little else is known about it. A fairly typical mix of outer system terrestrial of rock and ice. Ico has... Alco has a trace of atmosphere, krypton and xenon. Its crust composed of silicates and water ice with deposits of aluminum. Unregistered starship traffic have, um, has been recorded in the vicinity of this planet. Travel is not advised. Possible pirate haven, maybe? Who knows? Uh, Potatan is a rather small hydrogen helium gas giant. Potatan's atmosphere contains large quantities of chlorine. We can survey it though. Matrix writings recovered. Scans of Potatan uh, reveal a strange unmanned vessel in orbit around the planet. Tally brought it on board and determined it was a sorry maid, but very old. She discovered several ancient artifacts inside the vessel, including one of Matriarch Dilanaga's writings. Sweet. And lastly, I think, is this one. So let's go check this out. Starting from the inside. MSV Cornucopia. The Cornucopia is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design. While obviously adrift, the Cornucopia is not broadcasting any distress call. Well, we're definitely gonna take a look at what's going on here. Okay, we're going to take Kaiden, I think, who has uh, some tech skill, and, and, and Liara. Let's take Liara. That doesn't tell me anything, but sure, let's try that. Squad, let's take a look at what our skills are here, because Kaiden might need an upgrade. Yes, for four points. He does have decryption, I was right. Uh, let's do, let's create a more powerful stasis field. And for Liara, we have four points. Let's create, oh, uh, all right, let's, let's, uh, let's just run with that then. Here we go. not a passage, neither is that. So we're going to open up this. Where are these guys?
Oh, hello. Somebody got me from behind. All right. All right, that's fine. We're going to have days like that. Uh, right, went the wrong way. Here we go. Heard that before, let's back off a bit here. Whoa, whoa, hello, hello, hello. Okay, so don't want to cross too many paths there. Definitely got, you know what, it's gotten really dark in here. I am, I owe to a caffeinated bubbly beverage. And while at this particular hour I should not have additional caffeinated bubbly beverage, I am going to have more caffeinated bubbly beverage. But I think this has to be my very last one for the evening. So. So we're going to retreat back in here when things go south in a second here. ticked off at me, so everybody get back here, please. Please don't be a moron. I'm not... Let's get our guys back up and functioning. Get them back in here, please.
right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Focus. I'm glad the AI got a little bit smarter in the future versions of this. All right. We're gonna go all the way back and around the other side. I don't want to get stuck up on from behind. Hello! I like that, actually. A whole bunch of them coming. Let's get everybody back in the corridor. Set shot snipe. I'm gonna summon everybody back and get everybody in here, please. That one shot snipe was kind of useless because I missed. Yeah, she can't get back here. She's trapped somewhere behind enemy lines. Well, that sucks. Do a quick save, that's good. So let's go around the other way. I don't want that to happen. Boy, am I glad I did a save game just before that happened. Get sloppy, get caught. All right. a lot of guys. Let's get into a nice corridor. And we lost one. That's great. Okay. 
I could also probably keep her alive longer if I used her, you know, um, powers a little bit more diligently. Alright, well that actually doesn't lead me anywhere, which is a little frustrating. But it also does mean I cleared out a bunch of guys and I got some XP for it, so... This is a legitimate maze in every sense. Huh. Alright, well around this way we go then. Just a cycle, as is that. Oh, probably there's no more guys left here. That's actually not the worst thing ever because it means we get a save point. Uh, where did we cycle down to? Oh, we cycled back the way we came. That was. Not fantastic. All right, following the right-hand wall. That gets us to there. Get me out of here. Stop blocking my path, you morons. I'm not going to blame that one on getting caught on them, but that was kind of dumb. Uh, Alright, let's try this again. Just be a little bit more careful. Because we know we're going to get caught up on bad guys right here. No, please stop doing that. You. Grenades certainly couldn't hurt there, right? Is there anything over here? No. left, right, and then straight ahead. So let's check out left first. This is a little bit like that medical bay that we... Um, uh, sorry, the ship with the person who was unconscious that we had to make a moral decision on. Alright, so this is just crew quarters. This is more crew quarters. Okay, that's fine. MacGuffins, the light posts. All right. Oh, hello. All right. The logs show this ship was exploring near the Perseus Vale. Looks like they found some kind of alien artifact. They brought it on board, and then this makes no sense, Commander. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Vale, like they wanted <coughs> Geth to find them. 
Okay. What else did the log say? The entries don't make a lot of sense after that. It's like the captain's mind was falling apart. It, it doesn't say anything about how they got back into our territory. The Geth transformed them into husks and left the vessel where they knew it would be found. A warning to other organics not to enter the veil. The logs show this ship was exploded. Okay, so we've already done this. The Geth transformed them into husks and left the vessel where they knew it would be found. A warning to yeah, but... organics not to enter the veil. Okay, maybe I've missed the plot here, but I'm the Geth turned them into husks? Yes, yes, definitely return to the Normandy. Well, that was highly interesting. What's next on our list? We were we were slowly working our way on out on this planetary uh, operation. Cl Clotanka, Clo Clotanka. Clotanka is a large but low density terrestrial world with an atmosphere of nitrogen and carbon monoxide. Its crust is composed of sulfur and unremarkable silicates. Occasional deposits of heavy metals, usually the result of meteor strikes, dot the surface. High-speed winds, powered by the hot blue star Caspian, present a constant hazard. Atmospheric entry is hazardous, and EPAs are discouraged. But we can survey where we get a small deposit of iridium. I'm totally with it. Out to Farnuri. Oh, more surveyings. Farmuri has a trace atmosphere of carbon dioxide and helium. Its surface is mainly composed of silica laced with iron oxides, indicating the world had an oxygenated atmosphere at some time in the past. Given the relative youth of the Blue Star Caspian and the significant gravity well of Farnuri, this must have occurred with astonishing swiftness, perhaps a result of some cataclysmic event. Further research is required. Surveying gives us a large deposit of gold. I will take that too. Occasionally useful in electronics. All right. Almar Crux. Almar Crux has an atmosphere of methane and ethane. Uh, despite its great distance from Caspian, the energetic young star heats the surface all to almost temperate levels. Thick ground fogs are common at the Terminator, where water ice frozen during a long, dark side night meets the warm air masses from the day side. The crust is mainly composed of copper with deposits of sodium. Almar Crux's abundant water and relatively mild temperature and gravity have placed it on the short list of terraforming candidate worlds. However, there is significant opposition from eco-ethics groups who assert that Al Almar Crux's primitive methanthropic... Did I get that right? Methanotrophic bacteria may be a precursor to full-fledged native ecology. All right. Proto-life. All right, Antita. Indeed, as a standard hydrogen helium gas giant, its atmosphere is darkened by traces of sodium. It is one of the relatively few planets known with an orbital period of more than a millennium. Ooh, and we can survey that, so we gotta pop back there for a second. From surveying, ooh, Turian insignia recovered. Scans of Antita recover, uh, reveal a group of defunct turrets orbiting the planet. The recon team carefully retrieved one of the turrets and brought it on board. Tally dismantled the weapon and found it was marked with Carthon or Carthean. Uh, outpost insignia. Alright. Neat. Alright, so that's all of that place sort of sorted out. So now we're after uh, actually, you know what? That actually was a primary uh, mission list because I forgot to switch over to insignia or, or was it? I don't recall. Oh no, Derelict Freighter was amongst the backups. Okay, so UNC Cerberus. Go to the Yangtze system in the Voyager cluster and investigate Cerberus activities on Binthu. All right, how are we doing? I think this will be our last mission for the evening. So, uh, Voyager cluster and Binthu. Is Voyager down here, do I recall? Apparently, I don't know what I'm talking about. There it is. Yeah, uh, two star systems.
Uh, all right, just starting from the inside out. Ranchado is a close orbiting hot Jupiter with traces of sulfur in its hydrogen helium atmosphere. The disruptive gravity well of the gas giant prevented any planets from forming nearby. Okie dokie. Binthu, this is the one we're actually after. Binthu has an atmosphere of carbon dioxide with a permanent haze of toxic chlorine and clouds of sulfur dioxide that periodically drop torrents of acidic rain on the surface. Its crust is mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of calcium. Like most worlds in the Voyager cluster, Binthu has only been charted within the last 20 years by Alliance surveyors. It has no known native ecology. Data about the world is surprisingly brief and generic, uh, painting a picture of an unpleasant and uninteresting place. We are going to pop down there. I'm going to do this. I'm going to scan the planets in this system, maybe the planets in the other system, and call it a day, depending on how quickly I can get through this. I'm going to take Ashley, who's mostly combat strength, and we'll go with Tali for the tech. checking out where we are. Where are we going to go first? What we're going to do is we're going to go up here, over to here, and then cycle around the other side. We won't even have to come much back into the center because I'm fairly certain we'll have seen everything by then. Somewhere up in here is some resources. Survey the mineral, please. Badly. Surveying it badly. A large deposit of palladium. And off we go. We're actually destined to pass by. Yes, it is. I go a little beyond it first and then come back. To it. All right, nothing over there. So here we go. Going for the base. Hitting F5 because F. Oh, hello. We got our rockets going on. Cerberus, let's have a chat. Or not. Okay, what's going on here? Holy crap! That's less good than it could be. And I'm just getting killed all over the place because I'm an idiot. Run. Run a lot. Run and get the heck out of the way. Way down the hall. All the way back into the corridor. Please, everybody, come with me. Of serious biox going on here.
Looks like Cerberus has other bases in this world. Wow. Okay. Okay. Gotta remember their uh, snipers are pretty effective. If I'm honest. Taking concentration, because I kind of suck at tonight, I think. Okay. So you've eliminated the threat of this facility, continue to one of the other nearby labs. Technically that may be true, but I want to see what's... Oh. Does that door not lead anywhere? Guess not. Alright. So, having done that, we're going to go over here and that's south. Alright, heading south from here, straight on until morning, as they say. I kind of need some stars to make that quit make sense, but alright. We'll find the stars soon enough.
All right, begin a manual bypass on the decryption. Take all of that, definitely. In we go, and now we are going to go here, and we cut across the new entries in the middle of the map. to be anything down here, so we are now going across to here. Okay, nothing important. So we do a very, very sharp turn here. Come straight up on... Whoa, hello. Alright. Issues. Voluntary issues. go that's been taken out and then we park and go inside bigger bugs. Probably just as many human bad guys, though. was dumb, but I had an interesting idea there, which was to release the bugs, because I had hoped that the, that the uh, game would have made that smart enough. Yep, yep, now get everybody back in here, please. Seriously, you guys are idiots. back do I have to tell you guys to escape to before you'll actually obey me? Thank you. Okay, so...
That was risky. Evil limited threat at this facility. All right, does this door lead anywhere? No, okay. Doesn't appear to be anything else I can grab in here. Mission is getting more more close to complete. Now we're gonna go over to the question mark, which is just over here. Oh, hello. From is once again. This looks like like a Prothean area, but with no, with nothing I can get into, right? There's there's no. Oh, hello. There is an artifact on the roof. That's fine. Prothean data disc discovered. There, these are a few children's toys and some ragged clothes stuffed in the top of this monument, along with a Prothean data disc. Sweet. All right, so let's go over here, roughly, and we'll head north. Okay, now due west of us. Sorry, actually due north of us looks like a resource deposit. That's got to be up in here, so I'm going to make sure to note that once I come back. It'll probably still be on the screen, but... Alright. Hanging a bit of a turn here, let's go for those resources. Rare element, deposit of uranium. Okay. Now we are aimed basically up here, and we'll cover the last little leg in the corner uh, at another time. Well, I mean after this. I really mean by another time. I'm not going to come back to this planet if I can avoid it. So anyway, here we go. So far, so good. All right. Get everybody back in here, please.
Begin a manual override. So, um, so noted. This is a lot of stuff in it. I hope I wasn't missing some of the stuff from the other. Anyway, so we're going to open this up, but then we're going to conquer back on the other side of this wall. get the whole sniper thing on. goodies this uh this room i hope i didn't miss out on goodies in the last section uh, don't think i did but you never know right stuff on my uh, battle's not even finished and I'm grabbing stuff so all right Ooh, hello station they have cleaned up on quite a bit of stuff here Did we, in fact, get everything from here? We can't get out through there. You check for a pulse, but find none. Admiral Kohoku is dead. Despite the ferocity of the creatures he was sealed in with, there are no signs of trauma in his corpse. The needle marks on his arm suggest a different means of execution. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's Admiral Kohoku. Cerberus must have tracked him down. Uh... 
Okay, I'm guessing that still doesn't go anywhere. So I'm further guessing we just leave. Uh, let's check our logs. Okay, so uh, you found the location of a service facility. Um, find, head to Nepheron in the Columbia system of Voyager cluster and destroy it. Uh, okay. Might have to leave that one for another time. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that that's good for that planet because I think we're everything we we I doubt we missed anything other than maybe some minor resources. So let's all right. Draeger is a small barren rock world with a trace atmosphere of krypton and xenon. The surface is frigid and mainly composed of silicates with deposits of magnesium, aluminum, and other light metals. Draeger has a weak magnetic field, making it unsuitable for drive discharge operations. Light metal surveyed, large deposit of beryllium. Okey-dokey, moving on out to Alrimeter. Alrimeter is a small rocky terrestrial planet with a trace atmosphere of nitrogen and krypton. Its frigid surface is mainly composed of light metals with deposit areas of frozen ammonia. Prothean data disk recovered. You detect a weak signal coming from the far side of the planet, uh, Alrumter. Joker brought the Normandy around and your salvage team picked up a small escape pod trapped in orbit. There was a long dead terrain inside along with a few personal items and a Prothean data disk. And lastly, Padajiro. Or Patagiri. Patagiri has a thin atmosphere composed of neon and chlorine. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of silica with deposits of copper. During the long cold night, the chlorine in the atmosphere falls to the ground in the form of frost. Survey. Rare element, large deposit of thorium. All right. Quickly traveling to another cluster. Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. Uh, okay, that's a big delay. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. Okay, that's straightforward enough, though. What makes though. this uncomfortable? These probes were launched. We didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in, a 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead, about equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the That's 20th. not good, depending on where it landed. That probe tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. All right. Well, I understand let's... this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. Okay. It's in the Voyager cluster. That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. Well, okay, we'll handle it. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. Fifth fleet out. Okay. It's currently two hours and nine minutes, so I'm going to say the first thing that we do is we basically finish off what's going on in uh, in Amazon Cluster and then head over to Columbia and exhaust it, but we're going to do that next time around. 
So we're gonna do here, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a formal save. That is where we are going to call it for today. So thank you very much for joining me. Uh, this course will be on my uh, YouTube channel that you can find in the description of my account um, uh, before long. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. This is Code Weaver Plays Games, and I'll see you in the next stream.